So this is the rigid bus design team. So you can see the design here. This is the rigid bus design tube, a, a tube which is uh, uh, which is moving from one end to other end, and with some supports in middle. There will be some supports. Based on the supports, they are moving, and we are connecting to the to that uh, one. Uh, that is a rigid bus. Like uh, you can see clearly here. So this is a kind of couplers, everything. This is the rigid bus. These are the supports. For this rigid bus, these are the supports. So this is a rigid bus team, which with a nor, uh, aluminum pipes. So you can connecting now the isolator is coming and connecting to this pipe. So this is a rigid bus design. And come to the strain bus. So you can see the strain bus uh, uh, yeah, here that see. Uh, Yes, it's a hollow. Which one? It's a hollow, hollow one, pipe. That's a pipe, not rod. Yes, here you can see this. This is a gantries. These are the towers or gantries. This is, there is a, some bus is running between these two. This bus we will call as a strain bus. So now see this uh, pass switch gear. This is a pass switch gear, which is connecting to the uh, this bus and connecting to the isolator. And from the isolator again, it's connecting to the this bus. So this is a strain bus. So this conductor, okay, this bus formation can be done in two ways. One is the rigid, other one is a strain. This is a strain bus. Means connecting a conductor on the with two supports on the at top level and connecting the equipments to that. That is strain bus. And the rigid bus is with the pipes. With the pipes, I am connecting. That is a rigid bus. So this is the rigid bus. We are having two types of buses. One is a rigid bus and one is a strain bus. Yeah. Let's see now. So when you are connecting, when you are uh, doing the sizing calculation, first of all, we have to, uh, we, first, when you are uh, doing the, uh, means uh, when you are uh, going to implement the layouts, then first of all, you need to uh, know what is the, which, uh, bus bar would be uh, best for my application in the sense uh, suppose let's see a rigid bus bar generally the rigid bus bar designs are uh, mostly used in the karnataka projects and uh, in the if mostly they will prefer to use the rigid bus uh, generally the projects they will use to prefer the rigid bus depends upon the current capacity at the low voltage levels and also depends upon your layout means preparation of the layouts the rigid bus bar the aluminum tube uh, generally in a 33 kV system if uh, the current rating is 2000 amps the 2000 amps current rating uh, if we want to uh, size the conductor, obviously we have to go for the last conductor, which is a Burr-Smith conductor, what we discussed in our conductor session. That conductor in 33 kV level, in some uh, locations, they are having some towers, they are type tested and approved. So you can use those towers and you can run the Burr-Smith, twin Burr-Smith conductor between those towers and you can uh, you can do that. But in some projects, in some, in some locations, we are not having a plenty of designs on the uh, 33 kV gantry structures or 66 kV, whatever it may be, the gantry structures. So obviously you have to relay on the rigid bus bar design. And one more, one more best advantage on the rigid, rigid bus bar is, so it's a, a rigid one, maintenance is free because it's a, only a pipe, right? maintenance is free it's a conductor maybe due to the wind it will move or uh, it will tension will develop if it work if it is not uh, executed poorly and sag issues everything will be there in the strain bus one so again depends upon the uh, benefits with respect to your space project 
you have to select which is the best option for me, whether the rigid or the strain. 